Hey everyone, welcome back and happy, what is today? Um, Friday, happy Friday. Guys, if you did not catch Hot Messy Topics with Kim from Bravo Breaking News, definitely go be a part of the fun. Welcome back to Up and Adam Channel 2, where if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. You don't want to miss it. Trust me, it's all of the extra coverage. But also, I wanted to tell you guys before we get into it, we are going to be dropping a flyer soon. Um, we are celebrating my 31st birthday on King Street in Charleston at Lamar's, which is Leva from Southern Charm. It's one of her restaurants with her husband. They're so amazing. And I'm so grateful that they're allowing, you know, like us to do this, but I'm co-hosting it with two of my favorite Bravo celebrities. We're going to have so much fun and I hope you guys can join. Just have fun. It's not a show. It's not a live show, not anything like that. Just fun. I just want to be vulnerable and have a good time with you guys and celebrate the night. And that's it. But with that, hopefully you guys can join. Just DM me or Jason. Otherwise, let's jump right in. All right, guys. So we have to get into all of this shh because that's exactly what it is. Where do I start? Right here. I guess right here. So thank you to Reality T. Sheena Shea is defending Ariana Maddox after Lala Ken's shady comment. So it's clear where Lala stands with Ariana these days. But as for Sheena Shea, well, that's a little more complicated. Sheena's sort of been teetering on the fence between Team Ariana and Team Everyone Else. Hmm. Lala, on the other hand, is all too outspoken about her feelings towards Ariana. And her comments range from pretty... Um, pretty petty to almost cruel. Amongst those comments were claims that Ariana brought nothing to early Vanderpump rules, and Sheena recently spoke out on the claims. Sheena um, dances around a fan's question about Lala. On the June 14th episode of her podcast, Sheena addressed a fan who asked about Lala's statement that Ariana wasn't a fan favorite. I don't think I've ever said that. If Lala did, she has her own thoughts and opinions separate from mine, and I think each one of us is a favorite to different people in different ways. I'm sure there are people who Katie Maloney is their favorite, I'm their favorite, Lala's their favorite, Ariana's their favorite. I don't know about Tom Sandoval and Tom Shorts anymore, but I do think everyone has their favorites, and I'm sure Ariana has been many people's favorites. More specifically, Sheena addressed one particular comment. I know Lala made a comment about Ariana just floating for a few seasons or not giving much, but I also know that Ariana was battling with depression for several years, and I think she was giving her 100%. She was doing the best that she could, and whether people found that entertaining or not, that was just her living her truth and putting her mental health journey out there. Yes, Ariana is prone to to do her own thing, just as viewers saw in season 11. And of course, Lala wasn't a fan of Ariana regardless. Oif. Um, also, you got to remember, guys, they are co-workers. I know it's like, you're living your real life. Why are you not more um, supportive or this or whatever? They're living their real life, yes. But they're also constantly trying to be the number one guy or girl in the group it's reality tv there's an element of ego to all of this i think that's just easily said um and true and i think if lala is not necessarily wanting to applaud ariana for her latest season that's her opinion which is exactly what sheena said i think ariana delivered because I also constantly have to remind myself that they started filming this season right after this affair happened. So Ariana did not want to be anywhere near Tom. She didn't like Tom. She didn't want to be near him. She wasn't a proponent of his. Like she, she just was like, get away from me. I think that you're disgusting. And for us to sit there and tell her that's wrong and you were boring. It's like, Maybe now, if she filmed now, it'd be like, okay, this is a little much because you're killing it. You have your boyfriend. You're happy. Maybe now it would be a different story. I don't think she's coming back. But I think at that moment, I feel like it was justified, you know, and I might get some shit for it. By the way, I'm looking at you guys like all crazy. And I just said this in my last uh, video. I have my this eye contact fell out and I have to go to the contact place. 
to go get new contacts because I didn't realize I was out of them. But um, yeah, so if I'm looking at you all squinty eyed and cock eyed, it's because I can only see you out of one eye right now. So there's that. Moving on. Please. Jax Taylor. Thank you to Reality Blurb. Jax Taylor put Danny Bucco on blast on a recent episode of the podcast that he shares with Brittany Cartwright. After Danny and his wife, who share three young children, including twins, came out of their debut season in the Valley as fan favorites, as he and Brittany announced their split, Jack suggested that their side to Danny that fans haven't seen yet, as he claimed his castmate has been kicked out of his bar, Jax's Studio City, on multiple occasions. Daniel has had his fair share of getting kicked out of my bar. He's been kicked out a couple of times, is what he said. But according to Jax, Danny got a pass during season one of The Valley. Does he deserve it? Absolutely. The guy's got three kids under two. He says it 50 million times. We understand that. But you didn't see a lot of the stuff that he did. Hmm. So Jax is pretty much alluding to the fact that a lot of his behavior was not actually shared on TV. But as the Valley fans may know, Danny isn't the only castmate accused of being booted from Jax's bar because last week, just last week, Janet Caperna and her husband, Jason, accused Zach Wickham of getting kicked out after the season one finale. As they look back on the drama of the episode with Jason wondering if he was too harsh with Zach as he defended his wife, Janet admitted to wishing she left the venue sooner and she slammed his antics. She said, I genuinely felt scared. And all I wanted to do was run out of there. And part of me kind of wishes that once I had that situation with Zach, that I would have just left. I don't think I had much more to add or do that night. And I was in a horrible mood after that. I just didn't want to be there. And part of me wishes I would have just been like, all right, I'm going to excuse myself. I think I call him trash and a loser, which normally, to be honest, I would regret. But in this instance, especially knowing what he did a couple of hours you know, later that led to Jackson and Brittany having to physically kick him out of the bar and get him out of there. I can't say I regret it. I do think he's trash and a loser. Now, although Kristen Doty denied Zach was physically kicked out of Jax's bar, saying that she had called him an Uber, Janet further confirmed her claims against him with a series of leaked text messages from Jackson and Brittany. Hey, the night of our finale filming for your soft bar opening... Was Zach kicked out or did he just leave on his own is what she asked in one of the messages. And Jax replied, kicked out. I kicked him out last week too. Then in a message sent to Janet by Brittany, she reveals we ended up having Zach taken out of the bar last night. He was going nuts. Okay. Mm Probably not the best way to go because you're looking like a, a joke. That's why I don't sing Zach with him. That's why I don't sing. But you know what I do? YouTube. You know I'm here? Because I'm doing YouTube. I'm not a singer. But also, I wasn't there when you got kicked out of the bar. And could you have been a drunk mess? Yes, you absolutely could have. I think there's a lot of stress in filming the show or shows like these. And I think that you probably act like a little bit of a, acted like a little bit of a clown. And I think that everybody has the ability to do it. It's not just Zach Wickham. I think that emotions run high. The producers want you to do certain things. You have to give yourself liquid courage. Have you guys met Brandy Glanville? That's all I'm going to say. But honestly, at this point, I'm going to hear what you guys think. Pop off in the comment section. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And also don't forget that we are celebrating my birthday, my 31st birthday, right here in Charleston, downtown on King Street, Saturday, July 6th. Um, I don't know what time, probably after nine or nine or whatever it is, um, at Lamar's and we are going to post a flyer that way you guys can all come join in the fun and partake, but I love you guys and we'll see you next time.